if you did this error in Red Dead Redemption 2 and the error looked like this, you'd say unknown error FFF. Now I will guide you on how to resolve this problem. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Now to resolve this issue, the first step you need to try, I have several steps here you need to try. So make sure to listen to this tutorial very carefully and make sure to follow these instructions step by step. Now you can start by try changing from Vulkan to DirectX on your advanced graphics settings. So try changing from Vulkan to DirectX on your game on your advanced graphics settings. So let's launch Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'll come here to my home screen. This is Red Dead Redemption. So I'm going to launch it and show you how to change the graphics. Now select here. I'm going to launch it. Game is launching. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So just wait a little bit. So select Z to go to your settings and then go here to graphics. Now scroll down here to go to advanced. So I'll scroll down here. You can see advanced settings here. So advanced graphics. Now it's locked. Make sure to click on it to unlock it. Now also unlock, you'll see the graphics API. Now make sure to change it from Vulkan to DirectX 12. And then you can apply changes by clicking enter. So I'm not going to apply changes since I'm not facing this issue. But for you, click enter to save changes. So I'm going to return it for to Vulkan. And then make sure to lock it like this. So make sure to lock it to direct X12 in the graphics API here. Save changes and try to relaunch the game and your issue should just be resolved. Now if I'm still facing again the same issue despite following the changes here, now try the step here. The next step which is disable some for AMD and GPU users. Something that's been not not new for some users is that turning off smart access memory some seems to completely stop this crash. Obviously, this is only for AMD GPU owners. You can disable this through your AMD Adrenaline software or BIOS. It's called the resizable bar in there. But as I say, disable it only on AMD Adrenaline software as SAM is generally a good thing to have on other games. So I'm sure to disable SAM for AMD GPU users. For AM, If you're using the AMD GPU users, yes, you can disable this through your AMD Adrenaline software or BIOS. It's called the resizable bar in there. But I'd say disable it only on AMD Adrenaline software as SAM is generally a good thing to have on other games. Now, another thing you need to try is launch Ready Dead Redemption 2 immediately. Press Alt plus Enter to enforce full screen. So if you launch RDR2, which is Red Dead Redemption 2, immediately press Alt plus Enter to enforce full screen. Avoid the Alt plus tab opening overlays or use multi monitors and click away during gameplays. Unless necessary, and this can cause instability, particular crashes like FF error, which is generically fatal crash in Red Dead Redemption 2. So make sure to press Alt plus Enter immediately after launching rd error 2 this can sometimes help you fix this error which is unknown error fff now if you've tried so but you're still facing again the same issue try to set rd error 2.exe to high performance in your graphics settings so you can set select here search for graphics settings on the search bar and open the graphics settings application now scroll down here to look for red dead redemption 2 if you don't see it as you can see mine is here if you don't see it you can just add it to the desktop you can select here add desktop app now make sure to locate where your game has been installed for me it's located here on this pc so you can find here on the games section you can see here red dead redemption 2 you can just select the exe which is rd era 2 since it's here i've already added it now make sure to set it to high performance so select on this arrow here and then make sure to change it from let windows decide high performance and make sure to select it to high performance and your graphics will be displayed here so try to make it if it doesn't fix your issue make sure to return it as normal which say let windows decide which was found before as a default option and then try this verify your game files on steam or epic games launcher so for games your game is on steam or epic games launcher make sure to verify your game files from there this can also help you resolve this issue if you're still facing again the same problem, try downloading this crash fix. So this crash fix, which is available on this page here, the link will also be available on the description of this video. So don't worry. Go to this page here and download this crash fix here. So once you download it, it will be like this. So 
after downloading it, it will be found on your download section here. Download, so this is a crash fix. So let me show you. I've already extracted it, this zip file. Once you extract this WinRAR, it will be found as a file like this. So open this file, open it like this, open it again, and you found these files. Now copy all these files here, which are available on the crash fix. The link will be available in the description. Go to where the game has been installed. For me, it is found here on the games. Then you can see here, Red Dead Redemption 2. Open it and make sure to paste it by CDRL plus V. It will ask you like this. So make sure to replace the files in the destination. After that, this can help you resolve this problem. So make sure to follow this instruction very carefully. If you're still facing again the same problem, you can try to reinstall the game and also can help you resolve this issue. Let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.